All righty. Okay, let's go ahead and start on to our back. Oh. Oh. All right, let's get this back so we can see me a little bit better. All right, there we go. All right, let's, let's start by hugging our knees into our chest, rocking from side to side. And today we're all gonna, we're gonna spend, um, today is all gonna be about the low back. And as you know, with the low back, the low back, uh, to stretch the low back is really about core strength. Um, it's really, um, if you imagine our spine is like a towel, and we want to wring our uh, towel or spine uh, to stretch it. In order to stretch it, you take that towel and you wring it out, right? And you don't want it to bunch it up. You want to really um, let me have a visual, right? Like if my blankie is the towel and I want to really get all the water out, I want to be very um, specific and, and very mindful of like how I'm wringing out the towel to have great length instead of if I was trying to wring the water out. I wouldn't want to bunch it up. That would be the not an effective way to get um, all the water out, but I want to elongate, right? Like what do we do with the towel when we're trying to wring it out? Um, because we want to elongate it, take out all the wrinkles, and then start at the base and very methodically wring it out as we go all the way to the top. I have no idea if you're watching what I'm doing or you're just on your back enjoying the massaging of your low back. But that's what we're going to do today. That's going to require core strength as we lengthen and open up our low back. Go ahead and um, take the soles, of, plant the soles of the feet down onto the mat, take the knees out wide into reclined Baddha Konasana, or reclined butterfly pose, and just allow gravity to help you open up through the inner thighs, bringing our attention. You can place your hands onto your low belly or take some down by your side, inhaling into the low belly. Exhale. Spreading the shoulder blades open and wide, allowing the taking out the tension in the back of the neck, in the in the face, in the jaws, in the in the, uh, in the forehead. Inhaling into the low belly. Exhale. Taking a moment here to inhale gratitude and contentment for yourself. Exhaling. Gratitude and prayers for our friends overseas as they face uh, as they face their challenges. Inhaling into the low belly. Press the soles of the feet together. Begin and awaken the, the pelvic floor muscles, the core, the transverse abdominis, the low belly. Exhale. Bringing us back to something that we, what we worked on last week. Inhaling into the low belly, but keeping the core contracted the entire time and that core engagement. Inhale, engage through the low core, transverse abdominis TA. As you inhale, engage into the core. Exhale and engage deeper. Pull the belly button to the spine consistently and constantly even during inhalation. When you inhale, you have to find a new place for your breath to go. That goes beyond that, because now it doesn't have the space to expand into the low belly. Exhale. Inhale into the low belly, keeping the core engaged. Maybe you have to expand the air up into your skull, into your back of your lungs. Exhale, deepening your engagement. Bring the knees together, toss the hands overhead. Give yourself a nice big stretch, extending the legs out long. Maybe stretching your right side, maybe stretching your left side. Reaching your hands further towards the baseboard of wherever your fingertips are going to tuck the, like bring the, bring the, um, what is this? Your, your knees to knees to tabletop. We're going to begin to wake in the core. Uh, hamstrings, um, recline tuck, right? So hamstrings, uh, heels to the heels to the sit bones. So I'm going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Our knees are pointing straight up towards the sky. 
when awaken our muscles, um, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. heels, heels to the um, sit bones, squeeze, 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 and bring it back to tabletop. We're gonna awaken the hamstrings first, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the hamstrings. So heels to sit bone, heels to sit bone, heels to sit bone, and come back to tabletop 90 degrees one more time. Heels to sit bone, squeeze, 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 like you're trying to squeeze a walnut. You're trying to crack the walnut. I don't know what nuts. Oh, I guess if we're thinking about Hawaii, we crack the macadamia nut. Have you ever seen a macadamia nut tree? It's very interesting. It's not what I expected. Inhale to 90 degrees. Now we're going to add on hamstrings and hip flexors. So squeeze, heels to sit bones, and then uh, knees to armpit or knees to rib cage. Knees to armpit, knees to rib cage. Then we're going to press, 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 press with the hamstring, right? It's adding on. It's one, two, one, two. Kaiden likes. Two, everything is two. He's like, can you have one a cookie? I want two. He's at two. He's already negotiating. He's been negotiating since he's 18 months. They come, um, knees point back up towards the sky. And so squeeze the hamstring. So hamstring one, hip flexors two, bringing the knees to the armpits, but continuing to squeeze into the knees towards the rib cage, knees towards the armpits. When you inhale, continuing to keep the transverse abdominis engaged. So we can't open up, we can't let the belly inflate like a balloon. Where does that go? So when you inhale, squeeze the hamstrings and squeeze the hip flexors harder. And you put the air in a different place, not in the belly. And release. That's a very different sensation. Like it's right, you get to find space for your air, for your breath to go, your inhalation, if it's not gonna go into the belly. Because if you notice, if we have it into the belly, it immediately disengages our, our, our core, our transverse abdominis. So breathing is very important. All right, uh, knees, tabletop, squeezing hamstrings, squeezing hip flexors. Inhale, find a different place to put the air. And then that last final tuck, which is bringing your belly button towards your sternum. So belly button to sternum is that last bit. So you have hamstrings, you have hip flexors, belly button to sternum. Inhale, find a different, push the air into the skull. Put the air into the skull. Find a different place for the air to go. And notice if you can get deeper into your tuck and release. So I don't know about you, but for me, every time I inhaled and consciously found a different place for the air to go, I was able to get deeper because normally when we inhale, we let the belly expand and the transverse abdominis disengages, your TA just disengages. So one more time and we're gonna move on. Hands overhead, hamstrings activate, hip flexors activate. Posterior pelvic tilt, that last bit, inhale, compress deeper. Inhale, compress deeper, exhale. And release, nice work. All right, let's take it to, where is my block? All right, we'll have, get your block um, handy. Oh. All right, okay. Have your block put to the side. We're going to take knee. Did we do this last week? I can't remember. All right, we're going to take um, knee taps, 90 degrees behind your knee, 90 degrees at the hip joint, hands down by your side. We're going to lower the each foot down and tap um, with our toes. Maybe we did this last week. I can't remember. Press the low back into the mat. That's the first thing that we do is we press the low back in the mat. Inhale, continue to keep the TA engaged, and then lower the right foot down. Inhalation, exhalation, the right toe down, and it brings back up. So you want to make sure that that 90 degree angle stays underneath your knee. If it decreases, that means you're just using your leg and it's going to be super easy. If this is super easy, then you're not doing it right. <laughs> you should feel this in your, like on each side, kind of like your oblique, but as well as your TA, your low, your, your low, your low core. So it's going to feel like your toe is reaching further out. Than, um, than just you know bending and lowering the toe down. So you want to keep that 90 degrees underneath your um, under, you want to keep that 90 degrees underneath your knee as you just hinge from the hip. And this is going to keep the core super, 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 you're going to feel it deep within your core. So right leg tap, left leg tap. Okay. Now this is good enough challenge. You can stay here or I can't remember if we did this last week. You can put your hips on a block. So this is going to level, actually, I mean, I didn't, this is the first time I did this, at least a couple weeks ago. I can't remember which week it was, but um, so now your hips are elevated. Same thing. 
So now your foot's gonna come down, it's gonna hover an inch off the mat. So it's gonna go further than what it was before because our hips are elevated. We're still gonna keep the uh, TA engaged, the low belly engaged. Inhalation, exhalation is gonna be engaged the whole time. And you're gonna slowly lower the right leg down. And because this is gonna go past where you're um, before when we're on the ground, it's gonna even, it's gonna intensify it a lot more. So this slow, 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 go slow is the name of the game because this is gonna be really, it should be pretty intense in your low core activation so that we're warming up our core muscles so that we can ring out our spine to get that spine lengthening. That spine lengthening is because of our low core, not just passive, it's gonna be super active. Um, because our core sits on the opposite side. So we're just gonna alternate, dropping right and left with our hips onto a block. Our toe hovers an inch, it comes down to about an inch above the mat, and then it slowly comes back up. Especially this slowly come back up, it should be pretty intense if you are using your core. If you are using your core and not your legs, this would be incredibly intense on, um, and uh, your, your, your core might be sore tomorrow, just from doing this, but we're gonna, it's going to do, and really, this is going to do wonders for, for our ability to, um, to, to ring out our, our low back. All right, and then the last one, and then remove, plant the soles of the feet down, remove the block from underneath your hips. If you had a block from underneath your hips, and go ahead and, and, and rock on up to seated. Oh, sunlight is hitting the, uh, let me see if I can change the, let's see, hold on. see if this works for, for now. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and come on to all fours and roll it out, dropping the, uh, the chest down and round and barrel roll, uh, barrel roll out your, um, your torso. And then changing directions. And line up my mat here. Okay, all right, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Now, last week we also worked on, uh, what else did we work on? No, it was the breathing part, right? Yeah, so we're here in down dog, we're in an anterior pelvic tilt. How do we keep the, the low TA engaged even in, a pelvic, in an anterior pelvic tilt in a down dog? while doing our inhalation. So we'll continue to add on. For every inhalation, you're gonna still wanna engage into your low core. So find another place for your breath to go when you inhale, that's not the low belly. Inhale, exhale, engaging deeper into your core. Inhale, engage your core. Exhale, engage it deeper. Inhaling, right leg comes up towards the sky, swing it way forward, runners lunge. Back foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhaling all the way back up. Oh, floating arms, oh, floating arms up towards the sky. Oh, it is warm. And close the pose, inhale. Exhale, swan dive it forward. Inhaling halfway up, exhale, plant the hands, step it back, high plank. Lower down knees, chest, chin, roll your shoulders back and down, cobra. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg comes up towards the sky. Swing it way forward, runner's lunge. Back foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhaling all the way back up, floating arms up towards the sky. And close the pose, inhale. Exhale, swan dive it forward. Inhaling halfway up, engage the core. Can you use your core to bring your rib cage closer to your thigh bones, anterior pelvic tilt? Exhale, fold deeper. Take the right foot back, drop the right knee down. Inhale, forward up and back. Exhale, open the chest out wide. Inhale. Exhale, windmill the hands down, come into all fours, knees, chest, chin. Inhaling up to uh, Cobra. Pull the body forward, elbows point back. You're using your triceps, pull the body forward. Posterior pelvic tilt here. 
Pause to your pelvic tilt. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips anterior pelvic tilt down dog. Inhale, engage the core. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, right leg comes up towards the sky. Swing it way forward, runner's lunge. Drop the back knee down. Inhale, forward, up and back. Opening up through the hips here. Remember pulling your right hip back, left hip forward. Reaching the arms. The arms are very key to stretching out your hip flexor. The more you reach your arms up towards the ceiling and back, like you're trying to touch the ceiling, the deeper the stretch in your hip flexors. Windmill the hands down. Pop the back knee off the mat, back foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Hello, Uday. We're so glad to have you here joining us today. Inhale, slowly coming up, lowering your arms up towards the sky and closing the pose. Inhale, big inhale, engaging through the core. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, engage to the core. Exhale, plant the hands left leg back, drop the back knee down. Inhale, forward, up and back. Exhale, open. Inhale, engage your core. Exhale, windmill the hands down, step it back, higher plank. Lower down, knees, chest, chin. Roll the shoulders back and down, cobra. Posture, pelvic tilt. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg comes up towards the sky. Swing it way forward, runner's lunge. Drop the back knee down. Inhale, forward, up and back. Now, if all this wrist work bothers you, like if we're on like on your hands and on your wrist, you can always put like, um, there are, you can always put like two weights here and actually grip the two weights and come down like from plank, you know, using the two weights. Um, I mean, they actually sell like little like gripper things with the bar um, as well. Inhale, open up the chest, inhale. So inhale, inhale, reach the arms up tall and toss the arms way back. And when you inhale, engage to the core. So you gotta put the air somewhere else. You gotta find a different closet to shove your air in, which is usually like the head, the lungs, the skull. And windmill the hands down. Step back into high plank or all fours. Lower down, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhaling up dog or cobra. Posterior pelvic tilt, engagement with the core. Tuck the toes, press it back, downward facing dog. Also, it's really important, you know, to have a, a really solid foundation, a solid mat, you know, a good mat. Um, it's like a good pair of shoes. You know, we spend a lot of money on, you know, running shoes because you want to protect your knees and protect your joints. The same thing goes for your yoga mat. Your yoga mat is like your running shoes, but for four limbs. So it's even twice as important because you have your wrists and your feet on your yoga mat. Inhaling, left leg comes up towards the sky. Swing it way forward, runner's lunge. Back foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Fold deeper, anterior pelvic tilt, engaging through the core when you inhale. Exhale, slowly coming all the way back up, floating arms up towards the sky. And close the pose. Inhale, exhale, swing back and forward. Inhaling halfway up, exhale. Plant the hands. Take the right foot back, drop the back knee down. Inhale, forward, up and back. Exhale, open up the arms and goal post arms, send the elbows way back behind you. Now take the hands behind the head, put the skull into the hands and try to, um, Find the occipital lobe, which is the bony part behind your skull, I think, um, and try to pull and lengthen and lengthen. So keep sending your right hip forward, left hip back. Keep reaching your sternum up towards the sky, rib cage forward, elbows press back, slowly using your core to neutralize through the spine. Right hand down, pop the back knee off the mat, runner's lunge twist, reach the left arm forward. Oh, press your right toe down and lift and lengthen through your right rib cage. We're gonna get the outer left glute. Give that a nice good stretch. Strong and straight back leg for four, three, two, and one. 
Plant the hands down, step it back, high plank, lower down, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhaling up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press it back. Downward facing dog. You want to come down into all fours. Float the right arm up forward and tuck it through for spread, thread the needle. Drop your right shoulder down. Your, what is this, your right temple. Crawl the left hand forward. So I'm trying to twist underneath my right arm or left arm. I'm trying to open up my left rib cage up towards the sky. I'm pressing down on the back of my right arm. Take the left hand and find a half bind. Left hand finds the top of the right thigh. And I'm keeping pressing down on my, see I'm pressing down on my right arm and my right shoulder to try to open up my left shoulder up towards the sky. So this is really, I'm using a lot of muscle or engagement of my muscles to kind of open in this very gentle twist. Okay, plant the left hand down. Oh, come back up. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhaling to up dog with an ant with a posterior pelvic tilt and engagement of the core when you inhale. Press it back to downward facing dog. Take the feet slightly wider than hips width apart. Float the right hand off the mat. Thread it through. Right hand finds the back of the left calf. Peekaboo and twist. Hello. Really, I'm pressing with my left hand. I'm not dumping the weight down. I'm really pressing my left hand to press my left hip away as I twist. So I'm trying to find length from my left pinky to my left hip. I'm pulling um, the left calf is pressing into the hand and is playing tug of war. So my left calf is pulling against the hand, the hand is pulling against the left calf as I twist and come and see you. And release, plant the hands down. Inhaling, right leg comes up towards the sky. Oof, swing away forward, runner's lunge. Left hand down, runner's lunge twist on the right side. Oh. This is really about that right glute. So lift from this left rib cage, lift and twist. So my core is very much engaged in this pose, pressing that left toe down for four, reaching the right hip away from the right fingertips, three, right knee over right ankle, two, and one. And mill the hands down, pop the back knee, or sorry, pop the back foot to the top of the mat forward fold. Anterior pelvic tilt, engagement of the core when you inhale. Exhale, slowly come back up. And close the pose. Inhale. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands down, left foot goes back. Runner's lunge. Grab your two blocks if you have them. Runners lunge to pyramid pose. Yeah, on with the hands on two blocks. So runners lunge. Runners lunge, look up. Exhale, lift the hips, straighten out both legs to pyramid pose. Now this, you're in a um an anterior pelvic tilt. Anterior pelvic tilt, and instead of rounding the back, we are reaching our collarbone towards our toes, bringing our rib cage closer to the thigh. Runner's lunge. Oh, sending our left hip forward, right hip back, lifting the hips and going into pyramid pose. Anterior pelvic tilt. Find your anterior pelvic tilt, right hip back. Inhale, con uh, engage your core. Drop back into runner's lunge, left hand down. Right arm goes up towards the sky. Open up, big back stroke. We're gonna lift our left ribs and twist them over to the right. And open up the chest. Press the right knee towards your left elbow for four, three, two, 
and one. We're gonna move the hands down and come into lizard. We're gonna come onto the outside edge of the right foot. Ooh. And drop the right knee out to the side. You can stay here or place your left hand down. Bend the right, left knee, right hand finds the top of the left foot. Roll the shoulder back and down. Oh, this is, you're gonna feel this in your quad, your left quad. Oh. We wanna lift and twist our left rib cage. For three, two, and one. Release, release, release. Plant both hands on the inside of the foot. Tuck the right shoulder underneath the right, right knee. Walk the hands out into a T. Tuck the chin to the chest, crown the head, aims for the back of the right, what is that, the right ankle. Now every inhalation, can you contract your, uh, your, 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 your core? Plant the hands down, step back into all fours or high plank. Lower down, inhaling up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Float the left hand off the mat. Ooh. And find the outside of the right calf and twist underneath. So you're pushing with your right hand and you're pulling with your right hip back. Your, your right calf pulls into the left hand, your left hand is pulling, so it's tug of war. And you're using your right hip flexor to pull your right hip. Actually, you're pulling your right hip away. Your sit bones towards the back wall as you twist underneath. So it's an isometric contraction. There's a lot going on here. And where do we go from here? And release, place the hands down, come onto your knees and we're gonna thread the left arm through underneath, placing the left temple down. Reach the right hand forward. I'm pressing my left shoulder, left arm and trying to press and lift my rib cage to twist open. So I'm trying to spiral my right ribs open up towards the sky by pressing down on my left shoulder, my left forearm and the back of my left hand. Right hand comes behind your back for the half bind. Roll the right shoulder open and find the top of the left thigh. I'm right-handed, so my right shoulder is a little bit tighter. It doesn't like wanna open as much as my left shoulder does. So we are, you know, asymmetrical, right? Because we favor one side. So one side will feel different than the other. And release. Release, release, come back onto all fours, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg comes up towards the sky, swing it way forward, runner's lunge. Runner's lunge, twist, drop the right hand down, inhale. Left arm goes up towards the sky. Grab the two blocks, runner's lunge, drop the chest down, lift. Oh, lifting through the hips, straightening out both legs, anterior pelvic tilt. So you can use, you know, if you need to be on the high setting on the block, the tallest side, that'll help you get to an anterior pelvic tilt plus, oh, an anterior pelvic tilt plus collarbone reaches forward. Inhale, contract. 
And then shift forward to runner's lunge. Lift the hips. Anterior pelvic tilt. Find your anterior pelvic tilt inhalation. Contract the low core. And drop it back down to a runner's lunge. Drop the back knee down. Uh, lizard, place both hands to the inside of the left foot. Come to the outside edge of the left foot. You can come down onto your forearms or not. And just kind of open up your left knee. Oof. With two days of not doing yoga, I definitely feel it. Of, of also sitting, sitting for like two days in meetings without yoga. Oh. You can stay here or come on to King Pigeon. So right hand down, left, uh, left arm reaches for the right foot, bending through the right knee. You are on the fleshy part of the knee, right? So the part, the fleshy part above the right knee, you're not actually on the kneecap. You're on like the, thigh, the quad, the insertion of where, the, I think that's where the quad inserts, maybe. Open up through the chest, lift your uh, right rib cage and twist. Keep rotating through your rib cage. And release. Tuck the left shoulder behind the left knee, walk the arms out into a T crown, the head comes down. Aiming for behind the left ankle. And release, plant the hands down, come into all fours. Come into high plank, lower down, inhaling up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press it back. Downward facing dog. Oof. Inhaling left leg comes up towards the sky. Swing it way forward, runner's lunge. Back foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhaling all the way back up, floating arms up towards the sky. And close the pose. Inhaling, arms all the way back up. Swan dive it forward. Inhale, engage the core. Exhale, fold deeper, plant the hands down, step the back high plank, lower down, take your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga, inhaling up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press it back. Downward facing dog. Inhaling, right leg comes up towards the sky, drop the left forearm down, twist underneath your right arm. Keep reaching your right leg up higher, opening up through the hip flexor, come back into one legged down dog onto both hands, right foot in between the hands, runner's lunge, come on a crescent lunge. I'm gonna focus on how we twist on our spine. So the, so the rotational axis is our spine, right? Like we have a pole through our spine and our arm is just, when they twist there, they like, it's kind of like, um, if you had like a big tree or a tree trunk or a big pillar and you were trying to, and the pillar rotates. I don't know where we would find this magical pillar, but it's a pillar and it like rotates on its axis. So if you have your hands forward, like you're holding this big, you know, Greek, not Colosseum, like what is it, a column, like, you know, in, the, in, in Rome where those big, you know, in the in the old buildings, they have the big pillars, those round things or tall, and you're trying to rotate it, right? So when you rotate it, your right arm comes forward, your left arm comes back, right? It doesn't do anything to your spine. Your spine doesn't, your spine is also has its own axis. So we're trying to rotate the column or the big tree, right arm goes forward, left arm goes back, right? And we'll send the left arm forward and the right arm goes back. 
right? I'm trying to like, I don't know, rotate the column. Right arm goes forward, left arm goes back, left arm goes forward, right arm goes back. But if you notice your spine, right, is still in the same, same place. So when we um, rotate, that's how we initiate the rotation, right? A lot of times when we rotate, people do this, right? And see how my spine has moved off of its axis is at an angle. So what we wanna do is from here, we wanna rotate over to the right. So imagine we're rotating the column first, left arm goes forward, right arm goes back. And like you're pulling a bow and arrow, like archery. We were watching Brave last night. That was a movie that Keanu wanted to watch. So imagine you're doing archery. You pull, you send the left arm forward, right arm back, and you're pulling that bow and arrow. Bow and arrow, your spine is still vertical up and down. So we're twisting over to the right. Right knee over right ankle for four, three, two, and one. Come back to center, windmill the hands down, drop the back knee down. We're gonna do the same thing, yeah? So come on up, we're in a low lunge. Maybe we should have started this one first. Um, our tree, our column, right? We said if we're gonna rotate it, it's not moving, right? The axis is still here. We're gonna rotate the big column in front of us. Left arm goes forward, right arm goes back. Now we're gonna pull like a bow and arrow archery. And we're gonna open up to the right side. But see how, notice how your spine is much straighter for this. Okay, and come back to the front. Now that we have the action, what muscles are we gonna use? So when we, when we wring out the towel, right? We have our towel, we don't bunch it up to wring it out. We methodically start on one side, right? And then we work our way down the towel. So that's how we rotate through our spine. Okay, our spine, we start with the easiest thing is what happens is, you know, when we twist, we like put our first thing is our eyeballs in our neck. And that's the last part to start off with. We want to start low, right? Because this is the, we'll start at, we start at the origin of this. Well, I guess the spine doesn't have an origin, but we start at the base. So our twisting comes first low from the engaging. We're going to inhale, engage our core, exhale, and then twist from the low belly. Then we're gonna move up and twist from the low ribs. And then we're gonna twist from the mid ribs. And then we're gonna twist in our, between our shoulder blades and twist in our upper back. And the last thing to go is your head and where your eyeballs are. And that's the least, the least amount of concern because your, your neck has the widest range of motion and you're as lower down that you go, the, um, it has the least range of motion, which means we have to put more um, muscle, you know, engagement of our muscle into that. So let's try that. In all of our twists, we start from the bottom to the top, least range of motion to the greatest range of motion. And we start methodically working our way all the way through. So inhale, arms forward. We're gonna move that tree or column, left arm shifts forward, right arm shifts back. Archery, pull our right hand back like it's a bow and arrow, but we're gonna go slow. We're gonna start with our low belly, the low belly twist first, and then our rib cage, and then our mid back, and then our upper back, and then all the way, the very last thing that we haven't let go of our core, everything's engaged the whole way through, all the way when, until when our eyeballs and our neck turns, but our, all of our low belly and all of that engagement we maintain. Take the left arm to the outside of the right thigh and twist. So, so from the low belly, then the mid back, upper back. So we can break it into three components, low belly, mid back, and upper back in our twist and hold here. And a lot of times you just take the neck out of it, right? It's just really the neck head just sits in, on top, so look down on your toes. So mid belly, or so low belly, mid back, upper back like between the shoulder blades. So we can think about those three regions as we twist. Send the right knee forward for four, three, two, and one. Whew. Right, a lot more intense because we're using a lot more muscles. Okay, windmill the hands down. Step back into all fours. You can always pad your knee too. Whew. Lower down, inhaling up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press it back, downward facing dog. 
Drop the right, inhale, left leg comes up towards the sky. Drop the right forearm down. Twist underneath your left arm, peekaboo. Keep sending your left foot behind you, opening up through the left hip flexor. Come back into one-legged down dog onto both palms, left foot in between the hands. Runner's lunge, come on up, crescent lunge. You can always drop your back knee down if you need to. We're gonna try to move that column again. Left knee over left ankle, reach for your big tree. Yeah, so just lubricating the joints, send the right arm forward, left arm back. Do you see how my spine's not moving, right? I'm not doing, I'm not moving my spine in space. I'm just rotating or just rotating the big tree in front of me. Right arm forward, left arm back. Left arm forward, right arm back. Right, left arm, I'm just shifting um, my arms forward and back. My spine is still straight up and down in the same physical location, right? So if you were had to pull through my head all the way down to the ground, I wouldn't be, I'm not moving my spine at all. So we're shifting left arm forward, right arm back. Send the right arm forward, left arm back like an archery bow and arrow, bow and arrow. And as we bow and arrow and twist to the left, low back first, mid back, upper back, eyeballs last and hold, send the left knee forward, hold. For five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the back knee down. You might wanna pad your back knee by folding over the mat. So take your column, I guess your Greek column, or your big old tree. We're just gonna send the right arm forward, left arm back. Uh, left arm forward, right arm back. Right, so my, like it's if I have, I have well, I'm wearing sus not suspenders, but like these straps of my shirt, right? That's, there's like three lines. There's this line, there's like the suspender line, and then there's my spine. My spine doesn't move, and it's really just these lines that come forward and back, right? They just come forward and back. So I'm, Reaching my right arm forward, left arm back. My left arm forward, right arm back. My left arm forward, right arm back. Right, my, like I'm trying to start a fire. You know how like you're supposed to like do the thing with the twigs? Just imagine you're doing with a big tree and you're trying to do this. So left arm forward, right arm back, like bow and arrow, like an archery. Start with the low belly, mid belly. Oh wait, no, that goes the other way, sorry. Right arm forward, left arm back. Starts with the low belly, right arm forward. Keep sending, keep feeding your right arm forward as your left arm comes back. Remember you twist from the low belly first. The low belly, then the mid back, and then the upper back. Now take the right arm to the outside. Now maintain that twist. Take the right arm to the outside of the left thigh. And we're gonna move the belly away, like the right rib cage moves away from the thigh from your rotation of your low belly, ready? Low belly, mid back, upper back. And hopefully you get a deeper sensation in your twist. You can stay here or pop your back knee off the mat, it's up to you. For five, four, keep lifting your right rib cage away from your thigh, three, two, and one. Wing all the hands down, step it back, high plank, lower down, inhale, wing up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press it back. Downward facing dog. Anterior pelvic tip, inhale. Inhale, engaging through the core. Engaging through your back, get an anterior pelvic tilt. Light up those muscles in your back. Inhaling, left leg comes up towards the sky. Swing it way forward, runner's lunge. Back foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Take the feet wider than hips with distance apart. Bend the right knee. Just keep the left leg straight. Bend the right knee. Right hand down onto the mat or onto a block and twist. So again, that same bow and arrow sensation, right? When we twist, we start out with our right hand Right, our right hand down onto the mat. We're trying to pull the left arm back, right? Imagine that right arm going forward, left arm back, and the twist comes from the low belly. 
Low belly, mid back, upper back. Plant both hands down, bend both knees, squat. Placing your hands together, use the elbows to press the knees apart, lift the chest. Place the hands down, lift the hips, wide, uh, forward fold, bending through the left knee, straighten out through the right, left hand down. So again, that twist, left arm feeds forward, right arm feeds back. Then from the low belly, do you twist, then mid back, then upper back. And lower the hand down, squat, bending both knees into malas, right elbows, pressing the knees wide, lift the chest. Plant the hands down, wide, forward fold. Bend the right knee, keep the left leg straight, right hand down. Right hand down feeds forward at left arm, like pull that bow. Low belly, mid belly, then up back, upper back. Right, and notice how your twist is different. You should feel more space in your twist because it's coming from the, from the root, the root of your twist, which is your core. And lower down, squat, malasana, open. Straighten out both legs, bend the left leg, straighten out the right, left arm down, plant down onto the, onto the um, mat or to the block. Send the left arm forward as you archery, pull the bow and arrow back with your right hand. So from here, the twist comes from your low belly, your mid back, your upper back. That is what sends your arm all the way forward. Notice how much more space is in the front of your right shoulder because we started the twist from the origin of your core. Lower the hand down, squat, look up, malas. Move the block, plant the hands down, wide leg or forward, just forward fold. Feet are again slightly wider than hips width distance apart. Inhaling slowly all the way up, engaging through the core through your inhale. And close the pose. Inhale. Exhale, swan dive it forward. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, high plank. Lower down, knees, chest, chin, or turn around by inhaling up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press it back, downward facing dog. Your core is engaged now. Inhaling, right leg comes up towards the sky. Swing it way forward, runner's lunge. Straightening out both legs for a revolved triangle. So you can take your left leg out wider. Both legs straight, both legs straight. So when we do revolved triangle, it's a twist. It's a revolve, right? It's a revolve action. So it's the same thing. It's the same thing that we just did, right? So left hand onto the block or onto the mat. It's like your, 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 your tree or your column is now in front of you laying down like this, right? So your left hand, your left arm presses down into the block as your right arm pulls back, right? My spine is still straight. I'm in an anterior pelvic tilt. My spine is still straight, the crown of the head reaching forward. Pull the right arm back like archery, bow and arrow, revolve triangle up to the right side, but we're gonna start from the low belly. So low belly, mid belly, mid back, upper back, gets you to triangle. This should feel different than when you just try to rotate into triangle pose. You should feel like there's more space and more opening in the front of the chest. So three, two, and one. Lower the right hand down. We're gonna go into a revolved half moon. We're gonna start from the same place by starting in a square position and then do doing our like rotation of the tree into archery. So shifting the weight forward, planting your right toe into the mat, firing up the right inner thigh. So you can take your right hand, against the inner, like the right against the inner thigh of the right leg so that you can have something to remind you to push against. So float into a, um, preparing into a revolved half moon. 
So my right hand is on the inside of the thigh. I'm reminding myself to fire up the inner right thigh, left hand down onto the block underneath your shoulder. Same thing, right hand reaches down. Press the left arm forward as you pull the right arm back. Now low belly, mid back, upper back gets you into a revolved half moon. Revolved half moon and feel that more openness in the front of the body because we are mindfully rotating from the low belly for three, two, and one. Bend the right knee, drop the left knee down. Find your strap or your towel. We're gonna find your strap or your towel. How do I get this one? Okay. All right, we're gonna take what is this crescent lunge twist, bind, bind. Okay, so you take your right knee, going to be inside, or like take it past the midline. Okay. You're gonna take your left, no, this is the right hand, right hand behind your back. Right hand behind your back, just gonna hold on to the strap. Ooh. Right hand is behind your back, you're gonna hold on to the strap. The left arm, we're gonna to go to the outside, we're gonna to twist to the outside of the right leg, and we're gonna hold on to the strap here, right? Because this is instead of the bind, because I can't really reach the bind, right? So right, left arm to the outside, of the right thigh, holding onto the strap, right? I'm trying to take as least amount of strap by crawling my fingers towards each other here. So from here, low lunge um, bind, right? Reverse, um, yeah. So we, we start our twist from our low belly. And if you don't wanna take the full bind with the strap, you could just take that what we did before. So from the low belly, twist, Mid back, upper back. Oh, oh, twist, 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 twist. Oh. And release, release, release. Okay, windmill the hands down, step back into all fours. Your outer right glute should feel like jelly. Roll it down, inhaling up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press it back. Downward facing dog. Nice water. All right. Okay, inhaling, left leg comes up towards the sky. Swing it way forward, runner's lunge. Pop the back foot in closer, revolve triangle on this side. Okay, so take the, take the feet wider apart, but closer together in distance for revolve triangle. You're gonna need a block on the right-hand side, right um, underneath your right shoulder. So do you want to, be like right over the right shoulder. This is like, right, this is too far back. If you notice, this is right over. The, the hand is underneath the right shoulder. Same thing. We have our big tree log or a big coliseum right in front of here. We're gonna send our right, our right arm forward down into the block as we pull our left arm back. The spine is straight, crown the head reaching forward, anterior pelvic tilt, there's a lot going on. Right hand down, pull the left arm back and twist, belly, low belly, mid back, or rib cage, rib cage, mid back, and then upper back. So low belly all the way, mid back, upper back. So this is your, our, our revolved triangle pose. Both legs straight, both legs super strict, strict straight, strict straight to get the full benefit. Yes, nice. Your opening is, is less tangled. That's the only way that I can explain it. It feels and looks less tangled. For three, two, and one, we're gonna come back and square off. We're gonna enter in our revolved half moon the same way. 
So shift the weight forward, place your uh, block underneath your, your right shoulder, right? Use the left hand to the inside of the um, left uh, thigh, right around your knee to really engage and press into your hand. Slowly float the right leg off the mat and then add your twist, right? So the right, right arm shifts forward as your left arm shifts back into that bow and arrow, pull the bow and arrow. The rotation starts from your low belly, your rib cage, your upper back for four, three, two, and one. Lower the left hand, drop the back knee down. We're gonna come into a deeper full bind, low lunge with a full, uh, yeah, uh, reverse bind. Right, because we're going revolve, actually revolved, right? So we're in our low lunge. Our left hand is going to swing behind our back. We're going to hold on to the strap, right? My left hand is ro roll, roll your left shoulder, roll your left shoulder open. Okay, now I'm going to take, I'm going to take the twist to the outside of my left thigh, twist, right? Coming from the belly, grab the strap. I wanna walk my hands towards each other. <sighs> yes, and twist from the low belly. Remember, lift the rib cage. <sighs> mm. Twist comes from, whew. twist comes from the low belly. You know what I did there? I inhaled and I forgot to contract my, my low TA. <laughs> and then everything just went. Uh, so when you inhale in your low twist, you cannot let go of your core. So that's why you have to find another place to put the inhalation. That's why our breath is more shallow in twist because you have to find another place. You're squeezing the whole time. There is no room for your low belly to expand. For three, two, and one, oh, and release. Whew. I think I wrung out the pizza that I had yesterday. Okay, plant the hands down. Take your vinyas, inhale like up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press it back. Downward facing dog. Lower the knees down and sit it back, child pose. Inhale, come into all fours, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg comes up towards the sky, swing it way forward, runners lunge, back foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhaling, all the way back up, floating arms up towards the sky and close the pose. Inhale. Exhale, swan dive it forward. Inhaling halfway up, exhale, plant the hand, step the back side plank, lower down, inhaling up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press the back, downward facing dog. Inhaling, right leg comes up towards the sky and swing it way forward, runner's lunge. You're gonna straighten out both legs for pyramid. You're gonna take your right hand and reach for your, what is this? Your left thigh. I think it's your left thigh, right? Is that how it is? Yeah. Okay. Right hand's gonna reach to the left thigh. Your left arm is gonna find behind your head or the right knee or the right calf, the twist. All right, so notice how your right Rib cage wants to dump down into the right thigh. Actually, you can walk your feet closer. That's more helpful. 
but I want to twist open like so, right? I want to lift my right rib cage away from my right thigh. And then the left hand behind the head finds the right leg and twist. So there's a lot of right oblique happening to get this twist. Or if not, you can just take your head, your hand, your arm, your hand behind your head and twist this way. Remember your twists come from your low belly, your mid back, and then your upper back. Right, if you can reach for here, great. I don't think I can. Whew. Oh, all right. Side angle. Oh. Side angle. Right knee over right ankle. Remember, we're not dumping down here, looking for change underneath the couch. We're lifting and twisting, lifting and twisting. Where does the twist come from? The twist comes from the low belly, upper mid back and the upper back. All right. Now, adding on, can you start with dropping your back knee down? We're gonna take the revolved bind. Well, there's a couple different ways that we can go about it. All right, so, if what we did before is good enough, then we can just stay there, right? So it's half, right? So your right hand goes behind your back, like so, as a strap. Twist to the outside, left, left tricep to the outside of the right thigh. Left arm finds the strap and we twist here. If you're ready for more. Remember, see, this is me dumping down. This is me lifting and twisting from my low belly, right? Here, we can do here, two, press your right toe in. This is a lot of inner thigh, or low belly. Oh, let's see, half moon, revolved half moon with a bind. Or if you are so inclined, stomp your left foot down and do revolve bird of paradise. Oop. This is your inner thigh, your left inner thigh and your core. Your left inner thigh and your core. It's essentially the same. It's the same pose. Right as a revolved half moon and bird of paradise, right? Because you're just, we're just flipped 90 degrees. So find something, any one of those options, or you can try them all, or some form of revolved, because we're opening up that outer glute in our core and our low back. The focus is on your breath. If you bring focus to the inhalation and engagement of the core, start there. Inhalation, engage core, actually engage core inhalation, engage core inhalation, then it's the standing foot, not the other foot. Engage core inhalation, standing foot, inner thigh. Engaging through your core, through every inhalation, standing foot, inner thigh. And if you want to use a wall, that's good too. That looks great, Uday. So get the twist first. Yeah, get the twist first. Inhalation, engage the core, standing foot, inner thigh. Nice. That looks, that looks great. Yep. Focus on the standing leg, inner thigh. Yes, that's good. Okay, awesome. 
That looks really good. And go ahead and come on down and your right butt cheek should be like feeling like jelly, right? Like you're, this is all, so bring your feet together, knees apart and round. Round, round, round until Malasana. So knees apart, heels together, feet together. And you wanna round, round, round and use your core to try to punch into your vertebra and try to create more space in between each vertebra. And then come forward, we gotta do the other side because we can't be lopsided. Yeah, so in all fours, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog, inhaling left leg comes up towards the sky. Oh, notice how much more open your one-legged down dog might be, left foot in between the hands. We're in a pyramid pose. I think we're in a pyramid pose. Do we do this side already? I can't remember. Oh, we didn't do side angle yet. Bend the left knee down, we're in a side angle. That's right. We're in a side angle, this is a counter stretch. So left knee over left ankle, no dumping, this left rib cage lifts and twists. Lift and twist, lift and twist, lift and twist, send the left knee forward. Lift and twist, lift and twist, strong into the feet, spiraling our right foot in. Windmill the hands down, I believe we started in repeat. Okay, drop the back knee down. Now we can do our, any variation of our, our bind, right? Low lunge, revolve, twist, half moon, revolve, twist with the bind, or bird of paradise, revolve, twist with the bind. Or if you're just like, you know what? I just want to do a gentle twist. You can just place your right hand down on the inside. This is also awesome for your low back as well. You can do this starting from the low belly. The same principles apply, right? Low belly, mid back, upper back, same principles apply. So, Let's see, which way do we go? No, did we do the side already? No, we didn't, right? Where do I? Yeah, left hand behind the back. Yeah, left hand behind the back, find the strap. Right tricep to the outside of the left thigh. Twist, All right, get the twist in there first. Ooh. So remember from the low belly. So inhale, engage. No, wait, engage, then inhale. Engage, then inhale. And then twist. Engage, inhale, and then twist. So notice how the air has to, can't really go down into your belly because there's no space. We've like, like it's the balloon, you know, like one of those long balloons, like there's no space for it to go. It's gotta go elsewhere. So start here. Maybe you go into a crescent lunge. Maybe you into half moon, remember, engage, twist, inner thigh, inner thigh. Standing foot. You maybe you step the foot together, maybe you find bird of paradise, revolved. And release, release, release. Nice work. Remember, it's never about the pose. Who cares what pose you did? It is about finding the space in your body. If you were able to find a different space in your inhalation while engaging through your core, that is huge. Oh, all right. Let's come into camel and counter stretch all that we have done. If you want, you can paste block in between your thighs, squeeze inner block, thighs, hip bones, belly, all goes forward. Tuck the toes, inhale. Maybe your left hand is in your SI joint right here, your hip bone pressing forward, right? We do this so that when we don't do this, we don't like twist. We actually want to be square in this case. Right, you want to be square, so you want to send the thighs forward. 
and then other side. So you can use your fist, punch your hip forward to keep that side square so we don't rotate. Remember posterior pelvic tilt in your back bends, posterior pelvic tilt in your back bends. Inhale, other side, toss the right arm. Posterior pelvic tilt in your back bend. And last time on this side, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh. Come down and have a seat. We're gonna do uh, gate, gate pose perhaps, I don't know, we'll see. All right. Bending through your right knee, we are going to see how the opening may be perhaps affected our low back, right? So your low back should be super duper open. We're gonna come, bring our left rib cage to the inside of the left thigh. We're gonna do that by taking that elbow and kind of twisting and keep twisting. Remember twists come from the low belly. So we're gonna twist low belly, mid back, upper back. Oh, we can get deeper, right? Twist low belly, mid back, upper back. <sighs> We opened up the low back today. We didn't open up the um, erector spinae and the QL muscle, right? So on days that we open up the QL muscle, a lot of us, including myself, can reach my toes perhaps. But we did like the bottom half, right? We only did the bottom half of the low back, right? So that's why this is not as easy as when we also, when we spend the whole time working our entire back. And the other side. Okay, twist starts from the low belly. Twist, inhale, engagement of the core. Inhale, start the contraction from the low belly, right? So in, engaging through the core, inhale. Then the twist comes from the low belly. It's very different. So we're gonna engage, inhale, and then twist. Oh, I'm gonna get the strap today. Sometimes if you start out with a strap, you can actually crawl yourself down, right? Because remember like poses like this, take like 15, 20 breaths to get into. Inhale, engage or engage, inhale. Engage, inhale, right? Yeah, actually the strap helps to walk all the way down and then I can get it after, you know, like seven or eight to 10 breaths. Right, I mean, you just, some of these poses just take a, 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 some time to get into, right? 20, 20 breaths. I mean, how long does it take you to take 20 breaths? Oh, and release, release, release. Taking wide-legged, seated wide-legged forward fold. Inhale tall, exhale forward fold. Are you able to get deeper into your wide-legged forward fold today? Because we have wrung out our spine. We have lengthened our spine. Remember, and oh my, Doris, look at you go. Look at you. That's amazing. I can't even do that. I've spent like 10 years trying to do that. I can't do that. <laughs> but I am definitely more flexible at 41 than I have ever, ever, ever been. Probably the strongest I've ever been after two kids. So really thanks to you guys for like making me get up every Saturday morning <laughs> to do this. So. Right, it takes a village. And release, oh. Your back should feel so ooey gooey yummy. Let's come on to our back. Counter stretch with, the, with all of our, um, uh, counter stretch with our heart opening, right? So bridge pose. Um, 
bridge pose, wheel pose. So we'll start with bridge pose, planting the soles of the feet onto the ground. Tuck the tailbone, lift the hips, pressing your thighs up towards the sky. So in the camel family, this is really camel, but turn 90 degrees. Send the knee forward, open up through the hip flexors, keeps pressing. So you're trying to stack your sternum over, I don't know, like, the more you're trying to get your sternum that way. Towards your head. And release, release, release. You can take two more or three more of those, or you can take wheel, or you can take wheel with elevated feet. Um, wheel with your feet elevated onto your, onto something, onto steps, onto block, should be easier um, on the shoulder opening. I know we didn't do a lot of shoulder opening today. Maybe we'll do some shoulder opening next week. Um, should be easier because your feet are elevated. I think it just has to make sure you have to get the alignment correct. Because with your feet elevated, you should be able to get your shoulders over your wrists easier especially if you have tight shoulders. You can also put your feet onto a block. And don't forget, it's posterior pelvic tilt in a, in a back bend, which is counterintuitive. And when you're ready, that looks good, Uday. More weight towards your chest, like wherever your eyeballs are facing, use your feet to press the weight towards to get the shoulder weight over your wrists. Yeah, so wherever your eyeballs are going, keep using your feet to press and press the chest towards where your eyeballs are looking. Squeeze your knees together, Anjali. Yeah, that looks better. Nice. And release. Nice, Mo. Okay, I'm almost done. You can sit here and be nice and quiet, okay? Because this is at the end of yoga class. It's quiet time. All right. Go ahead and come onto our back. We're going to plant the soles of the feet down. Feet as wide as the mat. Knees together. We're going to windshield wiper the knees. So we're going to drop our knees slowly. Yes, yeah, slowly over to the right and left. Slowly over to the right and left. More of a passive back oh, um, mobility. We're gonna cross our right knee over our left, and we're gonna drop the knees over to the right, take the gaze over to the left, take your arms out into a T, and be mindful of the how this is on your back. If it tweaks your back, then don't do it. And then inhale, come back to center. You're gonna cross your left knee over your right, drop the knees over to the left, take the gaze over to the right. You're using the weight of the left leg to press the right leg down towards the mat to get that final opening. And then go ahead and extend the legs out long, toss the arms up overhead, give yourself a nice big stretch, closing the eyes here. Exhale, lower the hands down by your side, palms facing up towards the sky. Separate the shoulder blades wide. Inhale and allow the low belly to inflate like a big balloon. Notice how that feels different than in class when we're asked to engage the, the low core while we're inhaling. Inhale and filling up the low belly, expanding the low belly wide. Exhale, opening the mouth, fogging up the mirror. <sighs> Inhale, filling up the low belly. Pause, opening the mouth wide. Pretend you're fogging up the mirror. <sighs> One more time, big inhale. Hold. Open up the mouth wide, fog up that mirror. <sighs> Keeping your eyes closed, slowly rolling over to one side. Pressing yourself up to seated, rooting your sit bones into the earth. 
Inhaling, arms up towards the sky, clasping palms together, drawing them down to heart center. Inhaling, contentment and gratitude for yourself. Exhaling, contentment and gratitude for each other. Rounding forward, namaste. Mom, are you doing sitting pose? 